Welcome to part two of Begin the Book on Your Bucket List. Today we are talking about exploring your idea. I'm Allie, the owner and founder and lead writer at The Right Place, Right Time, where I am a professional ghostwriter and writing guide to women who are braving the path to the page to write their books of grit, hope, and triumph. Today we are talking about exploring your book idea. So many of the women that I work with come to me and they have this little morsel of an idea something kind of vague that they want to write about. It might be that they want to write about that time that they went through separation and divorce, or they lost a child, or they um, had some pivotal moment happen in the workplace that made them leave their career and make a complete transformation. Whatever it is that, that that little idea begins as is very tiny in comparison to the whole vision of the book that they have, right? They don't know exactly how they want to tell the story. They don't know exactly what the story is. They don't know how to order it. They don't know who it's for, but they've got this deep internal knowing and the spark of an idea that they want to write a book and they want to go for it. The only way to make that little kernel, I like to think of it as like a a popcorn kernel. The only way to get that little kernel of an idea to blossom is to apply some heat, right? That's when we're going to see this thing kind of come to fruition, blossom into what it's meant to be. And that means that we need to explore it. That's the heat we're going to apply to the kernel. Okay. We need to explore the idea. And to me, the best way to explore the idea is to basically interview ourselves, to ask ourselves a series of questions and to then meditate on those or or reflect through journaling or create a vision board or just mull them over for a long drive in the car or a long walk one morning, wherever it is that we think best. Um, This is a fun and exploratory stage of the process. It's my favorite stage because it can literally be anything. This little idea of the book can be anything at this point because of the fact that there is, is no clarity yet, but there will be. So spend some time, once you get the idea that you're going to write a book or you want to write a book, spend the time just exploring what that means to you. What does it mean for me to write a book? Why do I want to write a book? Why now? Why why do I want to write a book now? What do I think I know about the story? What don't I know about the story? Who might be interested in the story? What would be my goals for writing this book? What could I see on the other side of the writing in terms of promoting the book or selling the book? It's really a time for you to explore anything and everything that has to do with this project at any stage of the work, just to get your wheels turning. And once you end up starting that exploratory process and getting some ideas out of here and onto that vision board or into that designated journal, you're going to start to see connections, new stuff's gonna start to come up, and all of a sudden, the book is going to take on its own momentum and it's going to reveal itself to you. So this is where to start, by giving a little energy to the kernel of idea that you have. Apply the heat, let it pop into its full blossom form of what it wants to be and good luck. While you are working on this, if you would like to come and check out the right place, right time.com, I've got all kinds of things over on my website. If you go to the learn tab, you can see all the different ways that you can learn from me. And a lot of them are free. If you go over to the read tab, then you can see all of the content from our blog posts. That's also going to help you on your way. And absolutely what I want you to do is grab our new free lead magnet, which I've put the link to in the description of this video. Good luck.